When I was in college, we paired up in groups of uh, size two, I guess that would make a pair, and in my artificial intelligence class, and we competed AI algorithms against each other. The game we were playing was chess, and so me and my buddy got together and we wrote a bunch of cool algorithms we thought would win the chess contest, and other people in the class got together and wrote algorithms they thought would be the winner in the chess contest, and then we handed them all to this executable that would load up that code and start executing it and play the two algorithms against each other. So that's what, uh, we're not going to do something at that elaborate, but I, I'm going to give you the rough idea in this video because there's a lot of reflection involved. It wasn't that difficult, but it was really elegant and beautiful and cool. It was nice that we could hand a DLL file to an EXE and the EXE could just pick it up and know what to do. So that's my plan. In fact, let me start drawing here. We're going to have a host exe and this is the host running program we're going to have a neutral dll here that will define the interface All right that's that's interface there and then i'll make two other dlls that'll be my code and your code and these are the algorithms we will use to do the chess AI, even though I'm not going to write any algorithms, but you'll get the idea. And so we will implement interfaces from here, like so. And then the host code will say, hey, give me a DLL, give me a DLL, give me the classes in here that implement those interfaces, and I'll load you up and start executing code inside of you. So that's the rough idea. I think the first thing to do is to define that neutral DLL, the one that has the interface. So let's just do that. Public struct chess move we will describe a chess move uh, from the start row like so uh, get set I made it a struct because this feels like a value type if you want to learn about value types go watch the value types videos control L control V V end row <clears throat> and I bet you can guess what's coming up we're going to do columns to start column and column and I think we're good so let's uh, let me and I can't remember everything that's in chess but I think we can get enough chess piece and I know there's a king there's a queen bishop castle uh, pawn I'm sure I'm forgetting some it doesn't really matter uh, for purposes of this example let's make an interface here and the reason I'm making all these public is hopefully you understand what public means but notice I'm putting public on the types I'm not this public is different from this public but if you want to learn the difference between the two go watch the assemblies video for purposes of what we're doing in this video it's fine don't worry about it it's, I'm basically saying hey this thing is visible outside the assembly because we're going to have multiple assemblies remember I said we're going to have the host and the neutral or the interface DLL and then my DLL your DLL we need to make them public outside but that's a, another topic for another video. Let's call this I chess game. And let's see chess move make move and we will hand it a chess piece uh, s rectangular array. There's a difference between that and this. You can watch the videos on that if you want to. But basically we're going to hand out an array to whoever wants to know about it and say, hey, here's the current state of the board and you decide what kind of move you want to make tell me about it and I'll I'll uh, do that move for you in, on the board myself and then tell the other player about it so there you go I think that's all that will make up our interface let's just see if this builds I saved this main class.cs to my c colon backslash reflection example directory or folder if that makes you feel better to call it a folder I can list the contents of this folder by saying directory list the contents of the directory enter and we see main class.cs takes up 337 bytes and I want to now convert this C sharp file to an executable file I'll tell you a little secret in this video what's the difference between a console or a executable file and a DLL file an executable file has an entry point or a main. That's that's the only difference. Okay, C sharp compiler uh, target. I want you to make me a library file, not an executable file. Give me a DLL file uh, and call it the out file name. Let's call it chess interface 
dot dll and we're going to compile this file here called main class main class dot cs for c sharp and why am i doing this all on the command line why don't i just i, I could go over here to solution explorer you know add new project add new project create a project call the class library and all that but, uh, but i'm just visual studio is doing exactly this when we hit build. In fact, I could even turn my existing console app into a class library if I remember where to do that. Is it up here in application? Yeah, I can say, hey, convert it to a DLL. Anyway, I'm just doing this all on the command line, just kind of get Visual Studio out of the way of my learning. I'm, I'm fine with Visual Studio doing stuff for me as long as I understand what's going on. And when you hit Control-Shift-B or F5 and cause Visual Studio to do a build, it simply runs C sharp compiler itself and then depending on the project settings it'll set up these command line switches okay compile main class dot cs to this dll hit enter i didn't get an error so let's list the contents of the directory and hey there's chess interface dot dll built from this code right here so in the next video uh we need to i think i think the best thing to do would be uh build uh, my dll and your dll remember we're going to have a host we have the interface DLL. We just did this. This is done. So now we need some actual AI algorithms. They'll be my algorithm and your algorithm, even though I'll write it for you, because obviously you're not going to write it for you. This is a video, right? So let's. Uh, I think in the next video, let's do these two, and then we'll get back to this one and, and go from there. And then you'll see some pretty usable, awesome reflection come into play.